series, but has kind of gone all the wrong way. Looks like the coach isn't too happy about that. Maybe they're discussing about going to the YMCA in the morning and <laughs> lifting some weights or something. At halftime, of course, they're going to have the crowning of the princess, the queens, the queen and the princesses. Should be terrific. Well, let's see what they're going to do now. Obviously, you go to the pass. You know what I do? I do the same play again. Let's see what happens. Yeah, they he won't wouldn't think anybody would be like that, that stupid, right? Yeah, he won't be open like that again. <laughs> Garcia got plenty of time. Now he doesn't have plenty of time. He's going to be tackled and oh. thrown down on the seat of his pants by number 73 from Hoover High School, Armin Asakanian, 5'8, 220. And Asakanian has been a very good player for Hoover High School. That was not one of Glendale's more impressive series. They wound up further back than what they started with. You know, Dick, I want to make a comment about, you made that comment offhand, a comment about the uh, two guys, the referee and the coach going to the Y working out weights. You know, interesting, Glendale has weight training every morning at 7 o'clock. It's required. Hoover has it once a week, only on Monday. Interesting. interesting that it's not a mandatory by Glendale, but if somebody doesn't show up, the coach will certainly point them out during practice that day and they'll be working twice as hard. So one team wait lifts at least four to five days a week, the other one day a week. Galvin it, hands off to Mai. Another penalty on the play. The refs are starting to take the game away. That was an interesting series. Uh, Hoover started and went about 75 yards, scored about three touchdowns, had 14 penalties, and they ended up back up on their own 50-yard line. Yeah. Yeah, oh, there's been too many penalties in this particular quarter. By the way, you folks out there, especially you young men and women that are interested during the football season, there's about an 11-week period in which the YMCA has a quarterback club. They hold their lunches uh, every Tuesday about 11.45 at the Elks Club, and you'd like to come and join them. Come down and join the guys and the girls and have a good time. They have a guest speaker every week, some of the most terrific speakers you ever want to hear there be there. Great sportscasters. Terrific stars from the past and just really a lot of fun. It's during the football season. You can contact the YMCA. Ryle Dakota, and he'll tell you about it. Galvin. Galvin slips out. Did not this time. Beautiful tackle from behind by number 34. Jermaine Coleman. It's all over him. Dave, this kid's had a good, good day. Along with Mario Cruz, number 41. As Arturio Garcia comes back on the field. Going out, number 15, you haven't mentioned him tonight, Randy Legaspi. Second 19 from Hoover's own 35-yard line. Most of the game's been on the Hoover side of the field here tonight. I see on the crowd, I see Ann Ransford out there. Hey, hi, Ann. <laughs> She's just retired, of course, from Glendale College. Very attractive lady. Nice to see you out here. Well, she doesn't see me. Well, what'd she care about seeing me anyway? Guess I'm just talking to myself, folks. It's pretty dark up here, you know. You get a little, little goofy. Hoover gets up to the 36-yard line now, with 4:47 to go at halftime. Again, you notice that we're 4:45, 4:40 left in the first half, and Hoover has still not crossed the 50-yard line. Well, they might have gotten by once through a. Well, uh, Penalty, penalty, but that's about the only way they you're go across. Win, you're not going to win many ball games like that. Long pass off the right side. It's picked off right down the side. He may go all the way. No, he stopped on the 26-yard line. That was Garcia again. That was his second interception. Arturo Garcia. Let's see what they can do with this particular uh well, that was Jermaine got. Coleman that uh, intercepted that play. Number 34. I picked, thought it was number seven, Dick. Picked it off. Yeah, I could be wrong. Let's see. It is number I seven. I am wrong. Let's chalk one up for me, Dick. Well, I saw seven. What's seven into 34? That's still <laughs> not right, is it? I saw him come off the field, and the camera's watching number 34. But, you know, it's the uh, way it goes. 
Oh, there we go. me, oh my, look at this Robertson. They really want to win tonight. You can really see it. They've got the spirit. they got everything going for them. And Hoover, we know that they've got a lot of heart, a lot of guts, a lot of determination. Now, you know they're not going to give up. But if they go into halftime 20, 21 to nothing, that's going to be a tough uh, way to hope. As Don Meredith would say, what, uh, you can turn out the lights? <laughs> huh? The party's over. The party's you over. You can say this, Arturo Garcia's had a terrific game, and so is Robertson, and so is Archer. Zane Archer. All three of them. Those are the stars I thought would be for Glendale. Still waiting for a Copian and Maya to come through. Oop, Look bounces at that. off. Look at the left side. There's a penalty. Another yellow, yellow flag out there. Oh, my gosh. Just too Holding, many Holding, it looks like they're going back the other way against Glendale again. Takes the fun out of a game, I'll tell you. Wendell's had about 180 yards tonight like uh, to know what on, the, on the yeah. field, and they've got about 180 yards in penalties. That shouldn't be happening. That shouldn't be happening this you know, late in the season. It's still early yet, uh, Mr. Greenbaum, but uh, as the people I know that work for you call you sir, I thought that was your name. As I told you, for about four <laughs> years, they call you sir all the time. But uh, you watch Hoover now. The body language is showing me a little bit that they're just not too happy right now. They, no, they, they got it. They need a spark. They need an interception or yeah, a fumble they, or something to get them back going again. Their body language tells me they're not too happy. Garcia. Oh. Whoa! Ho! Look at this man go. He's going to score. Oh, he oh my! Zane Archer again. Okay, yeah. One and only Zane Archer, and he has had a night here tonight, folks. You've seen why Glendale has been in most of the ball games they've played this year. They're a much, much improved team. They've got a little ways to go, which I think they'll accomplish next year with uh, Rafi, uh, Coach Rafi. They'll be improved. And I think there'll be a force of the league next year. There, there they drop the ball again. Can you believe that? Unless it's a fake. He bounced the ball, goes around the far side, and picks up an extra point. Now, I don't know if that's a design yeah. play or what. I don't either. He caught the ball, dropped the ball, maybe get a chance to see a replay of this one. This is one I'd like to see a replay. It looked like he took the ball, dropped it down, bounced it back up to himself, and sweeped the right side. Here yeah, we go. We but we didn't see, see the actual snap of the center. If we get a chance to see that. It'd be great if we can't. That's the way it goes. That's showbiz, folks. That's one of those uh, Follies dancers on the side there that raised her hands up. Do you see that? With the short blonde hair. Look at the coach. He's telling him, you're doing a good job, Arturo. One of the other things that Glendale needs to turn their program around is they need some continuity in the coaching. They've had, I think, five different coaches in the last six or seven years. And so talking to Coach Throsian, I asked him, we talked about that, and he says, I have no plans of leaving. He said, the only way I'll leave if they ask me to leave. So if Therosian, Coach Therosian's around for a few years, I think you'll see uh, the, uh, the Glendale High program being a much improved program. Nice kick, Mr. Sasita. Number 34 goes off the right side. He's breaking through all kinds of tacklers. Nobody can get him down. What a terrific run by Armand Sarkisian. That was an impressive run. And Dave, you know, after the games we used to, in the big 50s, the big fun was going to Bob's drive-in. It was terrific. All of both the teams go up, have a big boy, and really enjoy themselves as we see this kickoff return. Now watch this young man. One, One tackle, two tacklers, three two, tacklers, four. Three. So I count by twos. Uh, four. There's at least nine or ten people that missed him there. <laughs> We did we go to the that same school? A, that was an impressive run. It was a great run. Galvin looked to pass out of it. Didn't get it. Picks up a few yards, going up the middle and stopped by number 42 for Glendale High School. I haven't mentioned his name too much here tonight. Jean Karjarian. Karjarian. Now, now, Eric Galvin was a defensive back last year. He didn't start out, start out the year this year as the, uh, as the quarterback, but they moved him in after the third game, I believe. He's very elusive. He knows how to elude tacklers. He's an exciting quarterback, very mobile. And that's the same type of quarterback on the opposite side of the ball that has given Hoover nothing but fits this year. The same type of quarterback that Galvin is. Nice look in pass. Nice pass and catch and a first by down. Finos. And a first down. 
They're over the 40-yard line, too. Well, maybe they'll make a break here and pick up seven before halftime. If they do, it'll put them